Today we'll show you three ways to make battery terminals for the homemade PVC pie battery holder and this is just an addendum to my previous video in which I show you how to make the uh, battery holder using this kind of PVC pipe and then for the battery terminal I use machine screws and this is the machine screws that I use if you haven't watched that video put the link down in the description and that is method number one and in this video I'm going to show you two more ways to make battery terminals using paper clips the second method to make battery terminals for this is to use paper clips like these this is actually not my idea this is from one of my subscriber from my previous video and he suggested using one of these paper clips I bought this from Walmart it cost me $2.50 for this package there are 200 of these in this package as a comparison with the machine screw this one costs about $6 for 100 pieces so do your math these machine screw would cost about five times more than this and these paper clips are even easier to make the battery terminals than the machine screw so you just have to thread it through a hole and then on the back here it got two legs you bend the legs and spread it out that's it so now you just need to solder the wires to one of the legs here and uh, you are done all right let's try and make a couple of battery terminals using these paper clips I got my PVC pipe ready to go. I drilled two holes and the hole size is 764 or 2.8 millimeter. Now we just thread it through the hole. It's a bit tight and you want it to be tight. Uh, the next size on my drill bit is 1 8 and I found that 1 8 is a bit loose and uh, this one is a bit tighter and it's better because it will retain the paper clip in place better now we do the same thing on the other side check that out that is so easy so next let's find out how easy it is to solder electrical wires onto these paper clips but first we need to put some flux on here to make my soldering job a lot easier and some solder on first oh that's so easy and the wires goes next wow that is so easy check that out that's a solid electrical connection I wanted to put solder between the two legs so to join the two legs together and that way I can uh, utilize the uh, current carrying capacity uh, to the max for these paper clips instead of just soldering on just one leg and also soldering the two legs together will make this very secure and this will never come loose let's give it a try shall we got my Tesla battery here and let's that's easy and uh, it's pretty tight here it makes a good connection to the terminal you can see from there and from there and let's see what we got here 4.1 volts it's working that's great this method is easy but you need to solder the wires to the terminal compared to the previous method I use uh, with the machine screws I don't need to solder let's try our next stationary tool this is called thumbtacks and it's actually cost more than this one this is three dollars whereas this one is two dollar fifty cents I don't know why this is made up entirely metal with a pointy end now we need to penetrate the PVC to make the terminal and I'm going to use a drill bit but the smallest drill bit I have is still bigger than the shaft of this pin 
If I drill a hole all the way through, when I put the pin on, it's going to be loose. And I cannot just penetrate through the PVC with this pin because it just can't. So what I'm going to do is you drill this halfway, not all the way through. And then uh, I can uh, penetrate using that pin. Like that. Now we we'll see if we can penetrate it. There. But I don't want it to be on this side. I want it to be on the other side. So let's just remove it. And put it through the other side. There you go. Now it's tight and it's not going anywhere. Well, for the hole on the other side, I managed to drill all the way through. Now it's loose. Just falls right out. But not a problem because we have hot glue. So I'm just gonna put just a little bit of hot glue on top of the hole just like that now we just go through the hole and we will remain in place just like that now is a moment of truth let's see if we can take in any solder but first we need to put plenty of flux on it I also put the battery in so to keep the two pins in place otherwise when they get too hot we move around so, here we go Yep, it's taking in solder. That's good news. There we go. Next is the wires. Yep, check that out. That's a good solder joint all around. Now we put heat shrink on it. That's looking pretty good. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. Like that. Now let's give it a try. 4.1 volts. It's working great. Here's what it looks like. Alright, so here is my bonus clip. Paper clip, that is. Since we're dealing with the stationary tools, why not just use a good old paper clip? And I thought this video wouldn't be complete without this. And for this, I only need about two inches. Now we bend it into a U shape. Like that. I drilled two holes on the PVC to make the terminal. Now we're gonna thread it through the holes just like that and then we just twist and I did the same thing on the other side and that's what it looks like and let's see if it takes in any solder Seems like it's working pretty good. Now we solder the wires in. Now the heat shrink. So here we go. Looks nice and solid. Let's give it a try, shall we? Wow, that's pretty tight. Wow. There we go, and 4.1 volt, so it's working great. For this method, if you don't have paper clips, you can also use solid copper wire, and it would be the exact same thing. And copper wire is even easier to solder than paper clips. So there you have it. These are the four ways to make battery terminals 
using something you have around the house. And that's all I have for now. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time.